Hello, hello, good evening. So, today we have something special. You've seen us unbox them before. Um, Heat Transfer Warehouse popped up last week with their mystery boxes, or mystery scrap boxes. Um, we happened to snag one. I love getting these things, they're so fantastic. Uh, there's so much good stuff in them. Here it is. We'll go ahead and jump into this one and see what's inside. I'm gonna switch the camera view. And we'll get it cut open. Let us know if you have any questions. Oh my, there's a bag in there. So, I am going to cut this flap out of the way so that uh, y'all can see me still on camera. Can you share that, that Texas group? So, start off got a nice bag it says heat transfer warehouse on this side and on the other side 10 years it looks like they made that one with their uh, printable it's nice nice tote any flaps for you? I mean, we, we're in a places to lay things, so maybe, uh... Okay. You know, I bet they sell these canvas bags that we can make our own bags. I bet they do. I mean, they carry, they do carry garments and quite a few other things. A nice on that one? Yeah, because that's you look on the back of where we cut. So you gotta look through the carrier sheet. Ah. Gotcha. That's pretty. I mean that's, that's a full sheet. That's that is a full sheet. Container. Yeah, because I mean here's a full sheet of uh stretch what you're looking purple at. berry. Oh purple berry stretch. Yeah. So yeah, that's the same. Yeah, it is. So that's basically two sheets of purple berry stretch. One's rolled up. Uh, one is not. And then we have this red. Another full 12 by 12. Oh, two of those. You never know what size you're going to get with the scrap boxes. So it's pretty awesome when they send some full sheets. Yeah, it's it's amazing what your what comes in these. I mean, like right here, this one's you, know, you get full sheet over twelve by twelve by twelve, and you know you got a slight ding on this corner, and it's in the box. There's this is the back of it, but I mean you can't see anything else really wrong with it other than a ding on that corner, and guaranteed over a hundred pieces in the box. Nice color. Yeah, really nice color blue. Um, but with that, you know, and the price of these boxes, you're you're looking at, you know, at minimum fifty cents a sheet with the scrap. And then here we got a whole stack of red, where it's you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, nine more sheets of the 12 by 12 red, and we already pulled two out. Wow. So, I mean, there, there's... I'm going to be stocked on red pretty quick, yeah. I mean, you got, then you also get the, you know, these nice little three-inch rolls. This one is Easy Weed, uh, just red. I 
that came off a 15 inch roll that looks like they cut down to 12 inches. So this, uh, its parent roll was 50 yards. I don't think there's 50 yards on here, but still, there's quite a bit on there. It's probably five. Uh, I'd say it's probably 10. Five to 10 yards. Five to 10 yards on there. And it's by three inches, so you have plenty to do a lot of stuff. Uh, this one doesn't say what it is, but it's definitely flock. Just by looking at the edge, I can see that it's flock. But again, three inches of flock, probably close to anywhere between five and ten yards. I like writing city names on those and putting them down the side of sweatpants. Yeah. Three inch strips of flock are good for that. Got a gray. It got a little crumpled here, but still. I mean, you got a good section that is completely usable. Anybody else get one of these um, scrap mister boxes from Heat Transfer Warehouse this week? Yeah, was anyone else lucky enough to snag one when they were on, went on sale? I mean, that sale went quick. That's a nice orange. Is that rose gold metallic? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like a rose gold metallic. I did see that Caesar, Caesar um, did release a uh, rose gold metallic. As no other new colors. That might be part of it. That might be. I don't know if that if uh, eTrench Warehouse has that one yet. I saw someone else post about it. Got some nice white. Two sheets of white there. Nice full sheets. Uh, two. Three, four, five, six. Six sheets. Twelve by twelve. So what aqua? I mean that's perfect perfect sheets right there. Yeah. Wow, yeah. And there's three sheets of what I would almost say looks like a banana yellow. And if it is banana yellow, it's a special color uh, it's one of their specialty colors that uh, heat transfer warehouse gets from Caesar. I mean, it's bright yellow. It's really cool. It's that old gold. Some form it's of gold. It's gold. It's, we, we like gold. I mean, I kind of use it as a staple color. Yeah. Black, white, gold. Those are some of our most popular ones. I, I mean, here's a full sheet. It's got a couple of air pockets and dings, but I mean... Just work right around it. You get nice, nice designs out of them. Sometimes you can squeeze those out. Also, just yep. depends on the piece. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven sheets of that one. It's an olive fish. All I would say it's army green. Not, not quite an army, though. It's kind of that faded army, vintage green. Maybe. That's pretty. I like it. Because it's not your standard, you know, just that um, forest green or, you know, normal green. And this is some more flock, it looks like. Two nice pieces. So the flock is that fuzzy velour type feel, almost velvety if you're not used to the vinyl terminology. So Christina, you can always take pictures of what you got and uh, we can help you try to figure out what it is. Um, one of the things that we do use to figure out what, what it is, is this book from Specialty Materials because a lot of what Heat Transfer Warehouse sells is, a portion of it is Specialty Materials but the nice thing about the book is they have samples in it of the stuff, of their products. So you can get close to it and see what might match up. We also have a product book for uh, Caesar as well that we use to um, help us in between those two. And then I go to their website and try to dig through and figure out what's there as well. This is a lilac. 
so yeah. Touched lavender and kind of probably more lilac. Yeah, that was a full sheet there. And two sheets of a coppery bronze metallic. That was one of my favorite um, to use for the different fall designs we did. Like that happy fall y'all and all that. I loved using this one with it. You're going to like this one. I Should like this know. color. Oh, I know. <laughs> this one's really nice. It just looks silver on camera. It's like the full rainbow uh, glitter with the light Let's background. See. And then you can see the shimmer, but it's hard you to can see, see the, the full rainbow flex. It, it, uh, yeah, it actually goes through. It has the, the full rainbow in it. The camera doesn't pick it up always. Yeah, it's nice. Four pieces of cheetah there. Where's that leopard? Oh gosh, I'm terrible with that game. <laughs> I don't know, but this is that newer kind of um, patterned vinyl that I like because you actually um, mirror and cut it on the back like you do your standard stuff. So I, I really like that they're doing more of that. Yeah, that one's... Uh... It's easier than adding the extra uh, TTDs and stuff like that. Yep. And the masks. And this one here, another glitter. That's like almost that reflective level glitter, like yeah. Um, I forget what they called it in the book, but I I think it's, it's still borderline a, reflective. I think if it if it is a special materials ones, I think it's under their um, decorative reflective. Maybe. These ones are a little bit different. What is it? I don't know. It feels like an HTV. It's a white. I don't think it's printable. I just think it's something thicker. I'll have to compare in the book. Yeah, we'll have to hunt this one down. A little bit different. Set that one over there. Really? That's what my little thing going on here. You need a pick? Huh? You need a pick? No, I don't corner up. Okay. It doesn't help me figure out what it is, though. So here we have a black, but this is a metallic. It's a metallic? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. You get that little bit of a shimmer on there. Let's we'll see what that looks like when you uh, yeah. put it on. Yeah, because that's kind of like a midnight bluish. You know, it's like that, um, oh, what do they call it? Like that titanium or that um, gunmetal. Yeah, it's almost. almost. almost that's kind of that cool. Gun metal. So here we got a bunch of, and this one almost feels like that, the, um, I think it's Sparkle. Or no. no. No, this has that. Uh, three, four, it's just one of the different glitter varieties. Yeah, this is like that one that we actually really liked. I think you can't see it though. Yeah, sorry. Just trying to get a count. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think that's good seven pieces there. Black with uh, some gold flake in it. Here is a nice green. It's got some nice white flake glitter. That's almost like an aqua glitter. Yeah, aqua. Definitely an aqua. That's pretty. Have you been making a dent in there? Uh, we made a small dent. There's a couple more sheets of, or pieces of that. Well, this is a different color though. Yeah, it's a different color. It's gray. It's gray, but it's of that different feeling one. A few strips. Got some blue. That's pretty. There's a nice blue. Those do work nice. Um, those size strips for uh, just name. Yeah, you can put like a name on the back of a t-shirt or something down the arm. Or even on the front, just different accent pieces. Oh, you got a bunch of just 
Is that a gray or off white? It's not regular white. I'll tell it's you not that. regular white. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So a dozen pieces of that. It's interesting. There's another one. That's a real light gray. That's a really light gray. Oh, almost. That looks like that one. Feels about like that one. Yeah. There's a lot of digging all at once. Oh well. Uh, that was a message. So we got another one of those reflective uh, pink. Uh, purple. -ish. I go with purple on that one. Okay. Yeah. It's Kind of a cross between a. It's like um, fuchsia. Yeah. It's pretty. Or magenta, fuchsia. I go with fuchsia. Yeah. We'll find out in the book eventually. <laughs> so another one of those. White ones. That's just a little bit different. Got some more gold. Different gold, but still gold. The vinyl. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Those two are vinyl. I thought it might have been permanent first. Yeah. And then we got this one. I have a hunch I know what this one is, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but this is a um, uh, what did we say? What did we? Th you think it has to do with the rhinestones? Yeah, stuff. I think this is the um, a sheet that they would that's used for like setting rhinestones though. But I have to look into it. So we, it looks like there's a paperback and a light adhesive to it. Um, so we don't think it's HTV. Yeah, because we've got. I'm not sure one of these that it's permanent. We have. Yeah. I don't know but, where it went then. <laughs> but it's one of those ones we have to just we have to see because um, they they use these for. Um, there is a product that they sell on their page for um, setting rhinestones. Almost feels like suede. Yeah. So, here's some Caesar PSV. So this is not HTV. This is a permanent. That's a, almost a mint. Some of them call that like Tiffany blue or something like that too, or sweet mint and kind of that cross color. And we got our forest greenish. Yeah, Christine, I'm not sure either, but we're going to try to figure it out. Definitely try to figure that one out. Yeah. So, nice forest green, or nice green. Not quite forest green, but dark green. I like this box. There's a lot of variety. Yeah. Another gold. Nice blue. I love the blues. <laughs> Helps the blues your favorite color, but yes, uh, it does. But I, I really do like the blues, and you know, with this, I mean, major flaw, you know, flaw, and it's that fold. But you know, can squeeze you that down, and might be able to use it. If not, I got this section, and I got that section. Oh yeah, I'll get good cuts out of this. Oh yeah. Oh, here's our one we were using for uh, pumpkins. pumpkins and. Might even turn that into a oh, snowman. Oh, it's not even picking up on camera. It's, um, hold it closer up higher. See if that helps. Oh, that, that's, that's helping a little bit. I think that might be So that's got the real bit. fine silver glitter in it. Yeah. Well, that one is just a gray. Yeah. It's nice charcoal. gray, charcoaly color. Almost full sheet. Well, is a full sheet. Another one of the white sparkly glitter. You know, white on white. Gosh, it just looks white on camera. I know. Hopefully you can see that. Another green. Purpley fuchsia. 
No, this is the um, whatever berry. Oh, purple okay. berry. That's purple berry. Oh, okay. Yeah. My bad. That's an end of a purple berry. That's yeah, end roll of a purple berry. And we got the gray. Full sheet. We got a f good size, almost a. I'd say that's a 12 by 10 of a nice red, red, red glitter. That'd be a cute uh, Christmas design. Yeah, that'll make Santa's hat pop right out. And then this one here, another white on white. So, and this was an end of a roll. So they got a little bit of tape, tape here on the very end. Got two of those. Now you're not telling me this is part of the other one because this is a completely different purple. No, it's not <laughs> purple berry. No, but that is a deep purple. That's like plum. Yeah. But it almost is the back. Um, no, it's just an HTV. That's an HTV. I was thinking it was um metallic, but no, it's just a real nice plum. Uh, yeah, that's that's nice. Look, they even separated it out by color. We're getting into the purples now. <laughs> so here's some nice purple glitter. That would make it easier when I put it away. Yeah. Color coding it for us. Another one of those. And another one. Another one of... No, that's not the of same. Of that no. one. Yeah. I think so. No. No? Okay. I beg to differ. Yeah, you're right. This one's a little bit more blue. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. Oh, the variations. Yes, the variations. So another white on white glitter. We love our glitters. All right. Now we have some Caesar. This one, I believe, is Caesar PSP, but this is the transfer sheet. That's the transfer sheet? I think so. I thought it was just white. No? It's clear. If it is. And then we got some TV. No. It's um. Or is it white? Well, this is interesting. This is Sticky, really interesting. Sticky's on the front, right? Sticky's on the plastic. The plastic with the grid is the sticky. Yeah, that's their transfer sheet. This is so uh, you can transfer the. With the grid on it. With the grid on it. Huh. That's for their per their permanent. Okay. So we got some TTD mask. So that's for transferring um, printed vinyls, which hopefully that means there's, vinyls. or pattern vinyls. Hopefully that means there's some in here that need it. That might be printable. Um, this is that print. Well, this is flock on one side oh. without a carrier sheet. Check that and see if there's a sticky on the bottom. There's two more. No, it's not sticky. And that's so they have they carry an HD or if a flock HDV that it was printable, I believe. That might be some of it. Oh, this is fun. These are. Um, Teflon, sheets. Teflon sheets for pressing. There's three of them here. Put them by our press. Yeah, put them by our press. Yeah, those go right in the drawer. And the box goes on. <laughs> Some more white on white glitter. A nice stack of uh, blue glitter. So blue with blue hints, just straight through. That's really nice. And then that's one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, dozen sheets there. Holy cow. A smaller stack of this one. But this is uh, almost like a cranberry color. Actually, it looks kind of copper to me. Maybe. Maybe it is a copper. Copper or bronze. I was bronze. Too yeah. confused. 
four sheets of that one. Time. Five sheets of that one. Yeah, five sheets there. That's that's pretty. Four sheets of this green. I like that. That's a nice one. Oh, only one sheet of this blue. Oh, it's really light. Earlier. Yeah, if it matches with that one. Yeah, the aqua one. Okay. That's pretty, though. I, I do like that glitter. Taking mental inventory over here. <laughs> <laughs> Got to put it away. Got to find room for it. Two more of the white on white. Nice strip of a yellow, yellow, or sorry, yellow gold glitter. So golden gold, but with like yellow uh, glitter flake in it. Nice holographic. I like that one. I don't think I have that one yet. It's with the yellow base. Yeah. All the different holographics have a different base color to them. I don't think I have that one. Yeah, that is a nice one. I, I do like the holographics. They give a really nice texture. I can't stop staring at them. <laughs> and we got a nice pink. And we've got a really fine glitter uh, purple. Purpley glitter. That glitter in that one is extremely fine. That's like the red from earlier. It's yeah. like borderline reflective. Speaking of red, <laughs> but still in the pink spectrum. That's There's almost like lipstick reddish. But I mean, look at the glitter shine on that. That's like almost magenta. Yeah. I mean... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, a dozen sheets on that one. That's crazy. I know, and like I use this size for a lot of t shirt designs. Like I can get a full t shirt design on. Now, I know, I, I see it there. I'm just getting ready, getting going, grabbing the rest of the glitter. So we got a uh, silver glitter. So silver with silver flake in it. All right. Let's see what we got here. We got some fun stuff. This is printed vinyl. So we have what looks like candy cane. Oh, I think they call that one like Christmas sweater or something like that. Yeah, I it's think like... this was ugly Christmas sweater or something like that. So Merry Christmas, some hearts, some reindeer. Christina, did you get some of these um, patterned ones in your box? Then, that's like a confetti. <laughs> yeah, that's that's just really that's wild. There's a bigger version of it. That one looks more retro. Yeah. We got a couple of that one. Plaid. I love the plaid. So the black and white plaid is always fun. I like the blue. Big Ooh. fan of the blue. <laughs> Sorry. Surprise. <laughs> Some more ugly sweater. Or Christmas sweater. There's some Santa hats. Oh, how cute. Yeah. Another candy cane. And we have a red plaid. So a buffalo plaid. I got some of that in full rolls over there. I've seen this on someone's sweater before. Just that pattern. Yeah. That's like, like that, that Aztec. Aztec. A, yeah, the Aztec Afghan sweater type pattern. Oh, you didn't get the pattern. Oh. Aww. They're, they're kind of fun. Um, but I love the glitters and holographics. I can't deny that either. Want to build a snowman? 
This one's got this one's really cute. I agree. I concur. A nice green pl buffalo plaid. Oh, I would cut like a big snowman. Add out a little, little snowman, snowman. And put that on a shirt. That would be cool. Oh, this one's this one's cool. Just a whole bunch of sayings, uh, you know, just different elements of Christmas type stuff. Santa, elf, winter, cookies. Just, I mean, that's that's awesome. And then we have a whole bunch of Christmas trees. Could do a Christmas tree with Christmas trees. Yeah. Just. <laughs> and Christine, I would not be uh, just down, you know, just a bunch of glitter and holographic in a negative way. I mean, I love the variety you get in these boxes, you know. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't be able to buy this variety of rolls. I would just break the bank that way. She'd kill me. Yeah, he's already borderline dead, so. Uh, yeah. Uh, this one is interesting. Powder pink. Yeah, it's it's that's like the name I gave it. It's like really really light pink, so that's not a it's not a white because it's got a white back. But the front where we have our car, our carrier, that, that's just a really like off pink. It's powder. Personal naming. Yeah, personal naming there. And then they threw in some TTD transfer mask. And this is for the, the printed vinyl. Yeah, so you cut that TTD down just like you would a carrier sheet for adhesive. And you just cut it down and you can reuse it several times. Um, so like you can just cut a little bigger than the design that you cut out of the printed or the patterned. And then, yeah, you reuse them over and over again. I hope you enjoyed going through that box with us. If you did, please like and subscribe. Happy crafting.